everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we are boarding the biggest cruise ship in the world, Wonder of the Seas. We'll show you our room, grab some lunch at the Windjammer, explore the ship as it sails away on its inaugural cruise, drink some cocktails, see an ice skating show, and at the end of the night, we'll have dinner at Giovanni's Italian Kitchen. Why don't you come with us on this, on this adventure? adventure. I'm so excited to finally be aboard the Wonder of the Seas, the biggest cruise ship in the entire world. And we're here for the inaugural sailing, which is something that we've never done before. Yeah, we've been on like a half dozen cruises, but we've never been on the first. Yeah, so that makes it extra special. Cheers. Cheers. Nothing tastes better than a glass of free champagne. On all the royal ships, they always have these modern art sculptures. I always dig them. On this ship, they have a gigantic metal cowboy hat. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, it is Friday. Yes. It's cool on the elevator. They actually have touch screens now in it. So you get little pictures of, you know, areas like there's the boardwalk. Yeah. What is this one? 14? I guess the kid zone? Yeah, probably. <laughs> This colorful carpet. It almost looks like waves. I like that. So before we explore the ship, we're gonna go check out our room and see how that is. Oh my god. It's so bright in here. This is our first time staying in just like a normal well, I guess we have a balcony, but it's our first time on a Royal Caribbean ship staying in just like a normal room. Yeah, right when you come in, you have a floor to ceiling mirror, and then you get a small desk mirror as yeah, well. This is a, it could serve as a desk or like a nice little vanity to put on your makeup. And they got a bunch of plugs, some USB cords, actually a lot of plugs for a cruise ship. Yeah. And they give you some, some masks, some, some sanitizer. I love that. And they have the cruise compass in paper form, which we love to see. It's just nice to visually look at this and see like what's going on. Yeah. If you look at the front page of that, it actually tells you that this ship we have a maximum of 600 or 6,988 wow. guests and 2,300 crew members. I will say, just upon first glance, it does seem a lot more crowded than the last time we went on a cruise. Um, my guess is they've upped the capacity. I, I don't think yeah. it's, we're going to be at 6,988, but I'm, I'm guessing it's like probably at least halfway full, if not more. We have this nice big closet space with a bunch of hangers. I love that. It's like double decker, so we can put all of our stuff in there, including our suitcases. There's some fancy artwork here, and below it is a nice little couch. That's a nice couch. That was the one thing that I think was missing from the Star Cruiser. Is like there. I wish there was like a little couch that we could sit on. Yeah, good but point. What, what do we think about this artwork? I mean, it looks like someone's creepily looking at us while we're in our, be our bedroom. <laughs> yeah. So love that. Yeah. Now behind door number two, we have more closet. You can put some of your shoes or whatever in here, a little safe, of course. Put down here. And some drawers. That's what's in there. Across the way here, it looks like we have some more drawers. I'm guessing the mini fridge is under here. Yep, I would be correct. Here's the handle. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so it's a small little guy, but hey, it works. And then some more drawers. I don't know why I'm so excited for Kleenex. I was actually just looking for that, so good to know. 
they were hiding the room service menu inside these drawers, so make sure to open your drawers when you come in, first come into your room. They have a big selection of room service. It looks like it goes from 11 a.m. till 6 a.m. And this is all, of course, complimentary because you're paying for the cruise, so you get free room service. Right next to the second closet is, of course, the bed. And it looks nice. Right across from the bed, you got a rather big TV. Yeah, that's a jumbo TV. Oh, there's some hooks there, so I guess you could put, like, bags or something? On the side of each bed is a lamp, which includes some omelets, including USB. There you go. Oh, we got some hats and some flags. And some little flags. Are these only for the inaugural cruise? Yes. Oh, I think so. how cool. Thank you so much. I'll take them. And now let's check out the most important room. Obviously, I'm talking about the bathroom. Yeah. Careful. I think I made this joke last time, but it's still funny. How does it? Oh. So you have a shower here. It's in like a glass round dome there's some blue backsplash on this sink area i like that and they got their standard salt and breeze soap and then there's a tiny little toilet we gotta do the flush test oh that's nice <laughs> That's nice. It probably gets like a four and a half out of five. And this pulls outwards, so you can't yeah, really this like. This is a, a very small bathroom, not gonna lie. Yeah, you know what? We were just in the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser and we were comparing it to cruise ships. And we said that the shower was large and people made fun of us. They don't realize. Yeah, on an actual cruise, it is like a little. It really looks like Star Trek, like where they'd go to like be beamed up. Like you just go in there and I imagine that you're like. <laughs> gonna be sucked up somewhere. Yeah, it's small. Let's go outside. Oh my God, why do I always have issue opening these doors? Okay, ah uh, yes, Fort Lauderdale. But that's not important. What's important is we got two seats out here and yeah. in just a couple hours, this is gonna be replaced by some ocean. Yeah, this is a nice, we're towards like- The back the middle back of the ship, yeah. so I think in, in, in the cruise business, they got they call that the aft. Yeah, that is true. You're right, we're cruiser, cruiser vloggers now. We need to get the lingo down. Okay, I found the first issue. So this door doesn't really shut by itself. It like stays open, so you need to make sure it shuts before you leave the room. I'm sure that's not supposed to happen like that. As always, you guys know us. One of the first things we like to do when we get on a cruise ship is go straight to the buffet. So we're on our way there right now. It's right there. Oh yeah, that's so true. Oh. <laughs> There's like a purple dragon. <laughs> Love that. I like all the flowers everywhere. I know, I wonder if that's just because it's like, we're sailing away or they're gonna be around the whole time. I think but it's like part of the aesthetic of the Wonder and Sea. They're real, I think. They feel real. Yeah, I think they're real. I'm just gonna go around sniffing all the flower pots. Is this something they normally do with the cupcakes or is that because it's the first sale? I don't know, but like I, want, I kinda wanna grab one, but I don't wanna misplace any. I'm sure they'll bring more person. out if you grab one. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I think this is going to be the best cruise that we've ever been on because this wind jammers, let me tell you, it feels so much, I don't know, it just feels it's more big. epic. I lost you for 10 minutes. That's how big it is. I was like, I got to go get my, my bread and my potatoes and my cheese. On Royal Caribbean, the buffet is called the Wind Jammer, and this one is the biggest that I've seen so far. There's so much stuff here. You can get bread in the bakery. Favorite has all the your favorite items. Thirst Quencher is like a bar inside the Wind Jammer. If you got the drink package like we do, that's where you go. Vegetarian, they have a bunch of vegetarian options, which is kind of cool. The desserts look amazing. They had this like Rice Krispie treat that was like all different colors. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't put it on your plate. I'm gonna go back and get it. They even have like a thing to make candy floss. I don't even know what candy floss is. There's a whole section of international flavors where they have like make your own shawarma. They have a pasta station where you can make your own pasta. They actually cook it for you right in front of you. 
Uh, and of course they got your hot dogs and hamburgers and, and stuff like that. And then if you want to be healthy, they do have a salad bar where you can get fresh from the garden. I don't know, it was kind of overwhelming. I almost didn't know it's big, so I only got a few different items. I got some braised short ribs. I got some garlic potatoes. I think we got the same thing. I also, oh, really? yeah, this is like curry or something. Yeah, I got the curry, the yeah. chicken curry. The only thing that I got different is I got this like cheese bread and then I got some sliced cheese with some kind of sauce on it. And then I actually did get one of the, the falafel shawarmas. 95% of it, they still serve you. So I asked for some lettuce and some sauce and like some other stuff and you just like put it all on top of my, <laughs> my thing, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so there's like a shawarma underneath there. We're starting things out early. I got the pineapple guava sangria, and this looks beautiful. Let's try it out. That's really refreshing. The mix of the white wine with guava and pineapple flavors are like combating each other, but it's very sweet. I'll give it a four out of five Peters. I actually really like this. I'm surprised. I'm not a sangria kind of guy. Maybe now you are. Maybe someday I'll be a connoisseur. <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> I also decided to order one of the beverages because we do have the unlimited drink package again this time. And what I got is the Caraco Cosmo, and this has Malibu coconut rum, blue Caraco, and pineapple juice. And I had to sip some of it on my walk over here because I filled it so full, and it is amazing. It's so creamy and delicious. Definitely feeling tropical and getting me in the spirit. So for this trip, we decided to get the ultimate dining package, which means that we can get premium dining restaurants every night for dinner and some for lunch. But once we got on board, we went on the app and tried to book some stuff and almost everything we wanted is gone. The ship hasn't left port yet, so the casino is closed. And it's something that we can't usually walk around and show you. So I thought I'd show you what the casino on the ship looks like. obsessed with art of people just being like <laughs> you could be a piece of art on the ship I could so right now we're trying to do our muster drill we got to find our station we've already watched the video on how to put on a life jacket and heard the alarm sound wow I think flowers are the thing here I'm loving the vibe of this ship so far it has that new smell new clean new smell you know what I mean fresh yeah. ship it's like modern, but with a touch of like nature. Beautiful nature. <laughs> but with a touch of nature. We we're finally able to book some reservations through the app. I think I was just having some like glitches, but we managed to get most of the ones we want. There's still wow. one more that we need, so we're gonna head over to the mason jar and see if we could get it. Oh my God, this menu looks so amazing. Red velvet pancakes. An update, we were able to book a reservation here for brunch, so. I like want everything. Everything looks so good. Yeah. Well, this might become our new favorite restaurant. Going <laughs> on, on Royal Caribbean. Tomorrow it goes down. and we just got to the pool deck and it's so colorful out here. Reminds me a lot of like what we saw in Navigator of the Seas. But there's this like hot tub that has a see-through wall. I'm not sure if I want to see what's happening underneath the water up there. That's... I already saw some butts in there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Lots of butts that you can see through the hot tub. Yeah. But now that we're out in the pool deck, we had to go to Lime in the Coconut. Yeah, we got this signature drink here, which is actually called the Lime and the Coconut. We've had it before, it's amazing. What's inside of it is Malibu coconut rum, coconut milk, coconut syrup, guava syrup, and lime juice. 
and you just gotta trust me, it is so good. One of my favorites, five out of five, Ordinary Adventure Star. We knew this was one of the first places we had to stop. I even got one. Yeah. I mean, we do have unlimited uh, drink packets, so we're already <laughs> going a little crazy, but we gotta get our money for it. So now I think it's about time to get away from some of this music and check out the Solarium, the adult only venue in the front of the ship. I thought the force was strong with me. Kitra doesn't know to put her hand over the green. Now you gotta put your hand over the green. <laughs> because this has a covering, we've said this before, but it feels very like moist in here. <laughs> yeah, it always is like humid. It's a little yeah. like, it feels like a sauna almost sometimes. But uh, I still want to get in that hot tub at some point. It's like we're at the Flower and Garden Festival, but we're really on a cruise ship. I don't know why, but I'm like fascinated by rubbing this. It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna find me here at like 2 a.m. Like. <laughs> it's like that scene from, uh, what's that movie? I think I just miss our dogs. Like I'm like petting it. Like it's a real animal. So this is cool. On the front side of the ship, they have a pool where you can just like hang out on loungers, just soak in the water a little bit. Imagine just sitting in one of those chairs with a drink in your hands, some nice cold water on your butt. Like that's that's the dream right there. If you don't want to get your hair wet, you just kind of want to dip dip your toes in a little. I have a feeling we're gonna spend a lot of time there. I keep mentioning butts in this video, but this is a butt check for sure. <laughs> Stop tapping his butt. Listen, I've had three drinks already. This is <laughs> this is where where we're going. <laughs> One thing I've noticed that these geospheric top here is much taller than the normal solarium. It feels oh. like you get like more. It's more airy. Yeah, it almost it looks like the Epcot ball as well. It does, which I enjoy, especially from like the outside looking in. Speaking of drinks, I'm gonna get one from the Solarium Bar. Doesn't look as cool as the one in the uh, Symphony of the Seas, but you know, they got alcohol, so no complaints. I love that this bar, there's little hooks to put your bags. I love that, I ordered a water. I'm trying to slow my roll a little bit. <laughs> right now out here, they're just serving the lime in the coconut menu. So I instead decided to get myself a pina colada. It is a Peter specialty. I feel like the cruise has officially begun. I love cruising. We're like sitting here and like I'm watching another cruise ship leave the port right now and I'm just so happy for them. Everyone on there is probably having such a good time. Just excited to be here and we've had such a rough couple of months that like I don't know it's just I'm just happy and grateful. I, just, I got weirdly emotional seeing that other ship. I'm like, there's so many people on there and they're probably having like the best time ever and they're gonna have the best vacation ever. Yeah. I love emergency drills. <laughs> no, you don't. Did you just say you love emergency drills? <laughs> no, you don't. It cuts well with your... <laughs> So on the port side of the ship, instead of a hot tub, they have the new view bar. And it's called the view bar because you're gonna be able to see some nice sunsets over there. So maybe we will Give grab a Give me my hot tub. tub back. I want that, I'd rather have the hot tub. You don't wanna have a cocktail? No, we'll come on sunset? here. Of course I want a view bar. Yeah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? She's so mad about the hot tub. I am. I really enjoyed those two big hot tubs on Symphony of the Seas, but it's fine. Yeah, there's a ship out here that is sole purpose of the ship is to transport rich people's yachts. <laughs> Had to be done and I have to eat it quickly before it melts. Mm. They've improved the machines. Before they like were too icy. This is the good stuff. Proud of you, Royal. You finally made the ice cream good. How many kitchens? Five out of five for sure.
<laughs> you brought her flag? Yeah, of course. Woo! We're sailing away. Yes, there's no spots available. I, I feel like it's noticeably more busy on this ship. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. The ship is officially sailing away, and there's so many people up here. It is a party. It's unlike anything I've seen since, obviously, the cruising industry has made a comeback. What is this boat doing? It's just like throwing water at the wind. I think they're probably celebrating. They're celebrating with us. The pro tip, just get a chair and then you can just sit back here. These people must be professional cruisers. It turns out that the, those boats are just to guide the ship out of the port. We obviously knew that, but we were just confused because it was like spraying water and we were like, what are they doing? But what, what does spraying water have to do with guiding the boat? I don't know, they're just celebrating, baby. <laughs> Let's get crazy. get to try my hand at a survivor puzzle. Okay. Um, hold on. Uh, oh, oh. Wow, you did it. Did I win immunity? <laughs> okay. We stumbled upon the mini golf course and uh, it looks pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. It's all like nautical themed. Yeah, there's whales and sea serpents and starfish. So many things to take photos next to. I'm gonna challenge you one of these days. It's someone too needs, windy right now. Someone needs to take these flags away from you. <laughs> the whole trip, I'm just gonna be like. <laughs> when we're in Disney parks, we often get recognized for our videos. But outside Disney parks, doesn't happen as often. So when we're coming on this ship, I didn't expect to get the outpouring of love and I don't know, we've, we've just met so many of you guys out here on the ship and it's it's been, it's been emotional actually. Yeah, it's been awesome. I, I almost cried. <laughs> but we also got to meet one of our favorite cruise vloggers. They're called Trevin Chills. If you don't follow them, stop what you're doing, hit subscribe, follow them, they're awesome. And they were so nice to us and we totally fangirled and fanboyed and it just like totally made my day. <laughs> yeah. We're having so much fun already. I wanted to go to the, the gift shop really quick because I wanted to see if I could get a new Royal Caribbean Spirit jersey. There's like a huge line of people waiting to go in. I think everybody's trying to get that inaugural Wonder of the Seas merch. It didn't even cross my mind. It's like, wow. yeah, it's like a wannabe spirit jersey. I don't want that. I don't like it. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. What about this over here? No. No? Oh, yeah. Do they not have a spirit jersey? I think so. This isn't a spirit jersey either. This is a t-shirt, like a thin material. We're going to have to show all the merch at a later time, but the inaugural season merch is over here. Oh, this isn't a spirit jersey either. Mm. Yeah. Oh, my spirit jersey. Dang. Hello. So since we couldn't find my spirit jersey in the store, we made our way over to Studio B to check out the brand new ice skating show called 365. I'm excited. We know Peter's excited. Let's get... Yes, you are. You're such a liar. <laughs> I'm excited. We'll see. What? Like, we're on a cruise ship and we get to watch an ice skating show. It's going to be good.
show is very good. This cast has only been on board for three weeks, and it's amazing. Yeah, it's, the, the cruise director was saying how like they don't even have all of their props yet because of supply chain issues. So like, I can't wait to see what that show looks like once they have all the stuff that they need. But that was really fun, except for the part when it was snowing and it was just like a sprinkler on top of us and nobody else around us. <laughs> We're like literally there, There's nobody wet. else in that audience that it affected, but us, there was like piles so, of fake snow. Yeah, pro tip, don't sit like directly center on the very first row on the first two seats to the right. I'm, I'm sure they'll fix it. Yeah. That was so funny. Another thing I learned, it looked like all the skaters had these little light bulbs on their shoulders. And I was like wondering what that was. It turns out they're beacons because the, the spotlights are all remote controlled by yeah. computers to follow them. That's so high tech. That's really cool. Yeah. There was no drones though. When yeah. we went on Symphony in the Seas, there was like a whole drone show. I was expecting that. But I had a great time. They played the Game of Thrones song. I loved it. I would recommend going to check that show out because those people are working hard and I, like they could be in the Olympics. They're so good. One of the things I really appreciate about Royal Caribbean is they decorate their ships with all this weird modern art. And we're gonna try to show you some of that alongside this video. We had some time in between the show and dinner, so we decided to grab another drink, this time at Boleros. And this is a lad night spot where usually there's like a band playing and some salsa action going on. But tonight we have our bartender Daniel making us a mojito and a painkiller. And we're gonna try that out and see where that gets us. I got myself a mojito, and this has rum, freshly squeezed lime juice, sugar, lime pieces, and mint leaves. I love myself a good mojito. So cheers. <laughs> Very limey. Nice and refreshing. It, be it basically just tastes like fresh squeezed lime juice. With a little bit of mint. Like look at all the limes in there. There's like a whole lime. This probably gets like a four out of five get dress. I think I'm like becoming a mojito aficionado. <laughs> and I got the painkiller. This has rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, coconut syrup, and a dash of nutmeg on top. And as you know, yeah. I am a connoisseur of the, the painkiller. This is a great painkiller. Daniel knows how to do it. Talk to Daniel. Get yourself okay. a painkiller when, <laughs> when you're on the ship. I'll give it a 5 out of 5 people. One of the cool things, we watch a lot of cruise vloggers, so we've been running into some of the cruise vloggers that we love. And one of them is this guy, Tony. Hey, what's up, everybody? I am so stoked that I've met Peter Ketra. I'm on the I'm on the Ordinary Adventures channel. Look, whew, I'm, fit. I'm drinking coffee. I didn't uh, even know Tony knew that we existed, but he's like... I know, that's so cool. I don't even have to tell you guys how great these guys are, but yeah, I'm so excited. Look. I'm so excited to be well, both no, of you guys. Everyone Check go out. subscribe to his channel. If you like our yeah, cruise it, videos, you're going to like his It sounds videos. real cruisy, right? La Lido Loca. <laughs> Worst channel name ever. Just, but it, if you need cruise tips, if you need cruise news. Yeah, he's funny. And I'm funny. Yeah. Thank you so much. And but, he's got glasses. We, and we like, got all have glasses. Glasses are good. And I like Star Wars. <laughs> it's, go. it's all good. For dinner this evening, we're going to go to Giovanni's Italian Kitchen. And it's out here in the Central Park area replacing where our favorite Jamie's Italian normally is, but we're excited to check this place out because we've never been there. Yeah, but it has large pants to, to live up to. Pants? Has large uh, sneakers. Shoes? <laughs> I thought you just like has large, a... sh large shoes to fill. Okay. What? It has pizza. Let's go. <laughs> Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar has a rustic Italian aesthetic, but modernized like all Royal Caribbean concepts are. It even has a pizza oven. It's not a real wood fire pizza oven, but it's a pizza oven. That's where they make their pizzas. And today we're gonna try a bunch of stuff from the menu. We're actually seated outside. Yeah, it feels good out yeah. here. You, you can feel that, that breeze. There was a musician just playing right here. It was kind of romantic. 
he went away as soon as we sat down. He was like, I'm out of here. Peter and Ketra. <laughs> but let, let, let's see how this compares with Jamie's Italian because that set the, the bar, in my opinion, on Royal Caribbean ships. Keeping on the theme of unlimited drink package, I got myself the Prosecco. It's a nice sparkling wine, delicious, and the perfect way to start our romantic evening together out in Central Park. Before your meal at Giovanni's, they bring over to you a more della cucina. This is love from the kitchen. These are basically garlic cheese knots. They have some pesto, some cheese, some tomato basil, and some herb marinated olives on the side. They look good. You might not know this, but I am a, con a connoisseur of garlic knots. These are some rather big garlic knots, but the marinara thing is a little small. Points deducted, Giovanni. This is so garlicky, so buttery. I'm not sure it's as good as the ones at Jamie's Italian. I feel like, I feel bad for comparing it, but I would give this like a four and a half out of five Peters. It's solid, just not the best I've ever had. Our server recommended the truffle caprese salad. And this is truffle burrata, arugula, heirloom tomatoes, pesto, balsamic glaze, and fresh basil oil. Yeah, girl can never pass up a piece of cheese. So pesto intrigued me. It looks amazing. Look at this huge chunk of cheese. I remember <laughs> That's a lot of cheese. Yes. Yes, it is. I don't really taste the truffle. Like, I taste like a little bit of it. It just makes it like more salty and flavorful. This is delicious. This is so good. It's making my mouth water. Like I need to drink my amazing five out of five. So far this place is killing it. One of Nana's favorites on the menu is the Meatball Gigante. This has sauteed spinach, mozzarella, marinara sauce. It's topped with Parmesan cheese and it is huge. Have you seen a meatball bigger than this before? I don't think so, that's pretty huge. Okay, let's, let's cut it in half. See the inside. Oh, oh lost the cheese. This is like one of the most flavorful meatballs I've ever had. Really? Oh my God, I'm shook. It's good. It might even be good, better than Rouse in Hollywood, which has like some of the best meatballs I've ever had. Five out of five. We also, of course, had to try the sorted meat and cheese platter, which was pretty good. Not as good as the meat plank at Jamie's Italian by any means, but I still feel like it's like a three and a half or a four out of five. I would recommend getting it, but it's not the best one we've ever had. So I know we haven't explored a lot of the ship, but what is your first impression so far? Um, so far it reminds me obviously a lot of Symphony of the Seas. Um, there's just like slight subtle differences that I enjoy. There's not that much different though, to be honest. Like I was expecting like drastic changes, but um, I'm loving it so far. Like this is bringing back good memories of being on Symphony of the Seas and I'm just having an amazing time so far. It's interesting because it's like, I get the business model of like, they have created the Oasis class cruise ship and it's awesome and they just want to replicate it and make a few upgrades each time. But it's kind of like, imagine if Walt Disney was still alive and he made like, you know, 12 different Disneylands and just <laughs> made minor tweaks each time. Yeah. So it's a, it's a little strange, but this is now the best cruise ship in the world. Yeah. But if you've been on Symphony, the differences are not huge. And I'm saying that on day one, we haven't really explored them. So we're gonna have to explore those in the coming days. This place is known for the pizza, so of course I had to get myself a pizza. And the one I chose is actually called Giovanni's Pizza and it's tomato sauce, mozzarella, ricotta, spicy salami, honey, and pepper. They got a huge selection, so if this doesn't sound good to you, I'm sure you can find something else on the menu that looks good. But this looks incredible. Problem is, is I'm so full now after eating all those appetizers. Oh, yes, 
super, super thin. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh my god, and it's also like scalding hot. It looks a little floppy though. A little floppy. A little on the floppy side. I might actually need to cut it with a fork and a knife. Don't come at me, okay? I cut my pasta last time, I'm gonna cut this. It's like drippy and floppy. I don't know if I've ever had pizza this thin before. I don't think I love this. Really? I'm not the biggest ricotta person. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten this one. Um, it's not like amazing. It's good. Like I'm gonna take this to go and eat it at like 1 a.m. when I'm hungry again. But I don't think I don't think this is my favorite, even though it's the Giovanni's pizza. I feel like this is what you gotta get when you come here. Everybody talks about Sorrentos. You don't like you don't think Sorrentos is that great either. Well, Sorrentos is like thin like this too. Yeah. So the verdict is we still haven't found good pizza. I feel like it looks better than it tastes to me. It's too floppy. I like those flavors. The combination of like the honey, the sweetness of the honey, the spiciness of the pepper. And I love I like ricotta. Is this amazing? No. Like, you know, look at the bottom of that. It's not really cooked that, you know, hence the flop. <laughs> But I'd give it a higher than you. I think I would give it like a three and a half out of five feeders. For my entree, I got the lasagna classica. This is an oven baked classic recipe with bolognese sauce, cottage cheese, and mozzarella. And yes, I am a connoisseur of lasagna. Oh, we know. Yeah, you know. This round dish makes it very hard to, you know, usually <laughs> you can cut squares. It's a very solid lasagna. Ooh. I'm not sure if I like the cottage cheese instead of the ricotta, but I'd give this like a four out of five pieces. We've made a huge mistake. We ordered dessert. I didn't know it was going to be this big. This is what they call the go bananas. And basically what it is is a banana wrapped in pizza dough and it has Nutella in it. It looks like it's sprinkled with powdered sugar. It looks delicious. Apparently the story behind this dish is that Giovanni's grandmother at the end of the night would have some leftover pizza dough and she'd try to find some way to repurpose that. And that's what led to this dessert. This is actually really cool because my grandma used to do the same sort of thing. Whenever she had leftover pie crust, like dough, she would roll, up, roll them up with like cinnamon and sugar and bake them and they were amazing. Like they were better than the pie. And our server reassured us. He's like, don't worry, this isn't leftover dough. Like that's just a story. Like this is fresh dough. God. Bananas and Nutella are like the perfect combination with this flaky, almost like burnt, you know, crispy dough. This is incredible. If only the pizza was that crispy. It's, I'm gonna give this a five out of five just for creativity and just goodness. I saw cannolis on the dessert menu, so I had to get them. I like cannolis. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. <laughs> Kitcher doesn't get that. It's a reference from The Godfather. I get it. Hey, who, who you talking to? <laughs> you talking to me? Or is that from Scarface? That's, no. <laughs> Three and a half out of five years. <laughs> And that is just day one of our adventure on Wonder of the Seas. If you want to see more from this trip, please subscribe below. And we're going to put those videos right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Dale Baker, Cynthia Santos, Lauren Scott, and Tiffany Lopez. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.